Welcome to Mars. I'm Feedback Gaming and I'm collaborating with Paradox Interactive for the upcoming expansion for Surviving Mars, Green Planet. Today we're going to look at the 10 new special projects. These work like planetary anomalies. Some of the new special projects can be unlocked by research. More projects will become unlocked and available on the planetary view when you research more terraforming technology. First off, we've got import greenhouse gases. This sends a rocket back to Earth, pick up greenhouse gases, and then stops them off and drops them off on Mars. This increased atmosphere by 2% and temperature by 1%. You need the fuel to take it off, and you need the money to pay for the gases and the transport from Earth. Next up, capture ice asteroids. This intentionally sends a rocket up to divert asteroids to collide directly with Mars. A pretty long mission, almost four days in flight, 100 fuel needed as well, but also be aware of the downsides. This may cause a Mars quake. These next three projects require you to sacrifice your rocket. Be careful, rockets don't come cheap. Launch Magnetic Shield Once you add atmosphere to Mars, you're going to constantly be losing it as it floats into space. This will add an extra magnetic shield, which will prevent some of the loss over time. Be aware of the hefty cost here, 80 metal and 15 electronics. Next up is the Launch Space Mirror. This heats the atmosphere by a massive 10%, but once again, the costs for this are massive, and you're also going to be losing that rocket permanently. This one is my favorite, Melt the Polar Ice Caps. This turns your rocket into a nuclear warhead to collide with the polar ice caps on Mars to melt them. I can't describe the cost of this, 400 fuel, and of course, that rocket is gone for good. You can do this project multiple times, but just be aware every time you do it, it'll have less of an effect. One of the early side effects of pumping out greenhouse gases and increasing the temperature is toxic rain. This destroys soil quality, kills vegetation, and creates toxic pools of waste that need to be cleared by drones. Coming alongside the Green Planet expansion is a patch, and this will also include three global projects that you can execute. The first one is a high-speed comm satellite, very high production costs, using the rocket for a very long duration, but the reward is a permanent amount of research per day for the rest of the game. Next up is Capture Meteors. It uses a large amount of fuel and it will shower a meteor shower down next to your colony. This is useful if you want to get some extra metals, rare metals or anomalies on the ground. Finally, it's all the way up here, is the Launch SETI satellite. This will cost you fuel, metal and electronics to give you an influx of funding. As you progress with terraforming and increase soil quality, you'll get access to the last two global projects. Up here, we have cloud seeding. To get vegetation on Mars, you need to improve the soil quality, and that's exactly what this does, costing you quite a large amount of fuel, but overall, this improves the soil quality, so it allows you to plant more and more seeds. When you've got the soil quality and you have excess seeds, why not plant them? Seed vegetation allows you to send up a rocket full of seeds and spreads them across the surface of Mars. And that's it. Next week, we're going to look at the free landscaping abilities that comes with the patch with Green Planet. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.